we basically caused a metabolic disease in the um, mycobacterium tuberculosis that led to its rapid death. Tuberculosis is a, a lung disease that's caused by a, a bacterium called mycobacterium tuberculosis. It's actually the oldest uh, bacterium that was proven to be associated with a human disease and it's transmitted by simple aerosol infection. So you could just get it on the subway. Although we don't see a lot of it in the United States and Europe, it's a huge problem in the developing world. There's at least 8 million new cases every year and at least 2 million deaths per year. And unfortunately, in recent years, because of the growing HIV epidemic, which has collided with tuberculosis, the problem of tuberculosis has worsened, both with the numbers of cases and the emergence of strains of M. tuberculosis that are resistant to all the drugs that we use to treat it. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a free-living organism that causes disease. My lab has been focusing on developing the tools, genetic tools, where we can study the genes of this organism. And by inactivating genes, we figure out the function of the various genes of M. tuberculosis. In our most recent study, what we've discovered is of the 4,000 genes in M. tuberculosis, when we inactivate this one gene, which is named GLGE, it leads uh, M. tuberculosis to, it causes M. tuberculosis to poison itself. And it basically commits suicide. Our study was published in the March 21st issue of Nature Chemical Biology and it reveals a brand new carbohydrate pathway that we didn't know of before that takes you know, a, a simple sugar to another sugar. The surprising result was when we blocked a specific enzyme in that pathway, we basically caused a metabolic disease in the um, mycobacterium tuberculosis that led to its rapid death. So the next step is to develop a drug that will specifically inactivate this new target we've identified. Basically, we've defined a new way to kill M. tuberculosis. That's why we went ahead and filed a patent on this. The trick now is to identify a specific drug that will specifically inactivate this enzyme.